at the beginning we didn't really know where our journey was heading now we got a pretty solid foundation um so we're about ready to do a rough premix of the song and just see where that takes us so to get started with the rough premix we're going to want to open our mixer and insert all of our instruments into the mixer I'm just left clicking now and dragging my mouse down so that all these little buttons are green. Then I'm gonna go over to my mixer, right click on insert number one and select link selected channels starting from this track. Basically, this saves you a whole ton of work. It just links all the sounds into the mixer for you and labels them for you. So this is a great little tip that you can do when you're producing a track. So to get started with the rough mix, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag all the sounds that I have in my mixer down. So now I'm just going to test it to see if anything is playing. And nothing is playing, so that's beautiful. Now I'm going to start this by dragging up some of our drums. And I always like to have my kicks as one of the dominant features in my mix. So I'm gonna put the kicks a little bit louder than the rest. Now that sounds about right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for all the instruments that I have set up. Now I feel like the strings could use a little work, so I'm going to go ahead and head into Gross Beat, um, which is a plugin that I use a lot for strings actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and select Sidechain. Basically what this is doing is just dragging the volume up to create sort of a smooth pattern. And I'm also going to use Fruity's Love Filter for the strings. Um, I really love this effect for strings. I don't know why, but there's something um, with the Love Filter that just, it just works great with, together with strings. So I'm going to go ahead and zap through some presets till I found something that I really like. I just love the sound of the love filter and I guess that's why it's called the love filter. But let's continue on with the other instruments. And I think I'm gonna go with the love filter for this one as well actually. I just love it. I mean, you can basically never go wrong with this tool.
And for this plugin over here, the ball, I'm gonna use Fruity's built-in plugin Panomatic. Basically what that does, it pans um, the sound from one side of your speaker to the other side without you having to create an automation clip or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically all I did here was select the pan and adjust the speed a little bit, um, solo that out. It would sound like this. See how it's like softly panning from side to side. I really like that effect as well. So all of that sounds pretty cool, but we are obviously still missing something. You can just kind of feel it. You can feel that there's something missing in the mix. And in my opinion, when I'm listening to this, the one thing missing for this instrumental is just a dominant lead character. Um, just listen to it again and you'll be able to tell that there's nothing that's really taking the overhand of the instrumental. So once I get to this point where I know I'm missing the lead, this is basically where most of the work comes in because you, as an artist, actually have to create something and come up with something from scratch. So what I like to do when I reach this point is I actually go into my like hum mode where I just listen to the track, I start humming something that comes to mind so that when I found something that I think sounds good, I can translate it over into like a MIDI instrument. So please don't get scared off by my singing, but I just wanna be as transparent as possible and show you guys actually what it is that I am doing when I'm creating a song. Okay, so it would go a little something like that. I hope it didn't break your ears or anything, but I'm just gonna try to put that into a MIDI plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, go over to Harmer and select my leads and create a new pattern over here. I'm gonna call it the lead pattern. And I'm just gonna take hard lead. I'm probably still gonna change it after, but I think hard lead is just one of those things. It's just one of those really dominant plugins that are just really good to use as a lead. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so we're right on the money here. Let's see what we got. Turn up all my volume levels here. Add this to the pattern quick. Okay, so I feel that what we have so far sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna hit control save, save the whole project because now I think I'm gonna pass it off to the next part where we will actually be going in and arranging these patterns. So the next video is gonna be about project arrangement and I hope I don't lose you on the way there. So see you then. And I think we're about ready to arrange all these beautiful sounds that we have into a full song. But before I get into that, I think that we should talk a little bit more about what it means to mix a song.